Okay, so we've imported our scan into 3D Glider. We've done all the layout. I know it's kind of rough and there's kind of some nasty stuff on there. Um, I believe we can... Maybe turn to... No, let's leave this as a regular. Okay, so what we need to do is now do a single frame lineup. This is the most important part. This is going to make or break your solve. So that's basically what we need to do is use the F5 menu to line up uh, a frame so we get the correct depth. So what we want to do first, because we've already solved it and we've got a good solve, we want to make sure that we don't break that. So I'm going to select all our points over here in the point browser, right click, add new, point set. Add point set is basically putting it in the group and I'm just going to call this solve. So now everything here, I can just middle mouse click and drop it down. I don't think you see the mouse on that, so one sec. Nope, that's even worse. One sec. Okay, let's just leave it as that. Okay, so we don't want to break this, so I'm just going to right click, modify, calculation, and disable it. So now they're just disabled. They're not going to affect the solve. Now I'm just going to view and hide them because I don't want to see them either. So, first thing that we want to do with lineups is pick a good frame. You want to pick a frame which is going to be the best used for you. Basically, you want a frame which has the most detail of all the geometry in. So I'm actually going to pick probably this frame because it's just got everything in it. So now I'm just going to go to F6 and I'm just going to look around my model. If just left click all we have to do is press left click and middle mouse roll. So my keyboard thing isn't showing. We can look at things that we can feel that maybe are good. Obviously, there's going to be some very bad areas of geometry, which we want to avoid, but there are some good areas we can use. So I feel stuff on this cup is going to be pretty good. So I'm going to make a point on the tip of this G. So that's control left click. I'm going to make a point in the center of this Lucasfilm pin badge so control left click i'm not solving i'm just making a single frame so don't don't solve and just make a single frame um probably one here we want to get a kind of a decent spread it's gonna be quite difficult because maybe our scan is not that great but we can just make some points control left click on things we can see and you don't need a minimum, well, you do need a minimum of six for it to solve, so. So I'm just going to select this first one. If I go to F6, so I know I've chose the tip of the G. All we need to do now is go extract polygon here in the left. And now with that still selected, we can see that we've got this sort of highlighting thing happening. And if we click, we can see now it's created a 3D point. That 3D point is now made a connection between this point, this 2D point, and this 3D point. So it knows that 2D points is supposed to be there in 3D space. And you can see here in the point browser, it's turned it to a survey point. So this is kind of a very important thing if you want to work in production, film, TV, or Hollywood films and stuff like that. You're going to have to learn this method. So I'm just going to go through and do that for all of them. So I've got this second one. It's the center of the Lucasfilm pin badge. So I'm going to press F6. I'm going to extract polygon. I mean, you can use extract line, but I use extract polygon because it's, it's, it, you can select anything then. Then I'm going to go to this, this one, which was this bit here on the Allen key wrench. I mean, this is just to get us a basic lineup. And You'll probably notice, I'll be very surprised if this lines up straight away with our current solve. Because it's the difference between 3D equalizer making things work and it looks great. But it may not actually be correct. 
physically correct. This is why we force correct um, depth into it using scans. So where was that one? So that was on that. Oh, this might have been a bad choice, but let's see if that's actually there. And it is. So that one was... This bit. We got Pickles Cage's eye, which is probably a fairly decent one. Two, what was our last one? And R2D2's red eye, which is probably a bit of a a questionable one. Cool. So we've done that. If we go to F5, we can... so if we select all our points, just so I can show you, you can sort of see we've got our points all sort of placed in that 3D depth. So now if we press F5, you can now see the correlation between the 2D points and the 3D points. So the 3D points are the, the, the green crosses and the 2D points are the red dots. So you can see that it's trying to sort of make it fit with um, the depth that it's got. So now if we press Alt-C and solve, we're only solving a single frame, so you don't have to worry about tracking anything. So use result. And it should pop, and I'm pretty surprised it's actually worked pretty pretty well straight away. So you can't really see much because we've got our texture on. So if we check turn our polygons off and just show lines, still pretty difficult to see. So we can change our alpha down a little bit to sort of see what we've got. I mean, there's a pretty... Although, like, the, the mesh is rough, you can see everything's kind of working really nicely. This is all sort of working around here. You see the... Let's, uh, oh, let's try and make it as visible. So you can sort of see that this curve's matching around here. This pin badge is sort of matching around here. You can even see the outline on Shrek, Shrek Duck, and Pickleless Cage. And even R2, like R2-D2 is pretty bad, and this ball is really bad, but you can see that it's it's generally kind of fitting. So I'm actually just going to leave it as that, and I'm pretty happy with that lineup. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to store pose. I store pose because sometimes it's easier, because it leaves a little red marker on here. But I'm also going to leave these because it's kind of like a backup. So I'm just going to right click and disable them. View and hide selected points. And I'm going to put these into a group. Called SF for single frame. And that's it for our single frame lineup. We will next thing that we'll do, we'll go through our 2D points that we've tracked and project them onto our mesh. So thanks for watching.